Well, hi, this is David Gum in the Stained Glass Studio, and this could be a really sad uh, story, except that it happened a few years ago, and so what I'm doing is relating a success that happened after a sad event. Now, to kind of put things in perspective, uh, Jeannie and I had been working on a window, and uh, we were, we put it on our trailer, and we were off to deliver it. Now, when I got, when I was driving along, we went over some railroad tracks, and Jeannie looked out the back and saw the trailer kind of bump up and down, and she said, I think we broke the window. I said, no, nah, it's okay, it's all right. She says, no, I'm pretty sure I saw some little bits of glass flying in the in the road. So we pulled over and we looked at it and it was a it was the worst damage that I'd ever done to a window. Now since then I have never put a, a stained glass piece on a trailer without really tying it down well. And I learned how to put styrofoam on either side of it and bungee cords around it, and I've never had that kind of a problem since. But this one, I was sort of asking for it. And um, when we got it back home, we inspected it on the trailer, and Jeannie kind of looked at the damage, and, you know, she was the one who was really concerned over it, and she did really good. She didn't hardly cry at all. <laughs> but, man... So then we had to take the window and repair it. Now, it would have been faster had I just taken the window and, and just rebuilt it. But unfortunately, after we got done with it and it was all finished, I threw away the pattern. So I, I didn't have a pattern to go from, and so what I did was I laid the damaged work down on butcher paper on the table that we were going to do. And then I traced around it so that the window itself, uh, we would know what size it was supposed to, to fit in. Well, then I moved the, the broken piece to a, another work table, and on this I laid strips of wood so that the window would be up above where it was normally. And then I began to solder, or desolder, the window, taking it apart bit by bit. Um, and then as I, then I had to take all the metal off around. I applied pressure on the metal as I moved around as soon as it came away from the window. And then, so once I had all the metal off of the, um, the window, then I was able to start on removing the broken pieces of glass that were in the interior of, of the window. And so I scored them and broke them out the way I do on a normal repair, but I just had lots of repairs that had to be done. And you can see here how a whole bunch of broken glass begins to pile up on the holes that are down below. And as the pieces began to be removed, you know, the sticks were invaluable for keeping the, uh, the window up above the broken pieces. And then I turned the panel so that the edge I was working with was close to the work table edge, and then I could get closer to the work. And I ran a hot solder iron around the inside surface where the broken pieces had been removed and I gently pulled the old copper foil loose. And as the melt, solder melted, the old foil pulled away and the foil on the piece that remained stayed in place. So next, we face the problem of how we're going to move the fragile pieces of the panel from the work table to the work surface where the pattern was laid out. 
And so we realized that what we could do was tilt the table, which would allow us to pick up the piece without breaking it. And so we did that. And if you look closely here at this picture, you can see how uh, bent the window actually was as, as we brought it up. And then I was able to desolder the little extra stalactites off of the uh, off of the back of the window. I carried it over to the work surface and then we wondered what are we going to do here? How are we going to lay this thing flat? We put a piece of board on the back of the window, leaned it over, and then we just slid it out as if we were a magician pulling a tablecloth from under a place setting or, you know, yanking the pizza uh, spatula out from under a piece of pizza. And then Jeannie matched up the pattern pieces to where the the uh, uh, the glass would lay if we had a black and white print. We laid out the pattern pieces, foiled them, and laid them back in place, and then we soldered her again. And then, so when we got ready to take it back to the client, we were careful to um, ship it in a much more stable manner, and we've never broken a window as badly as that since. So I guess the uh, the moral to the story is uh, when your wife says, "I'm not sure if that window's going to ride on the trailer." Uh, very good. You probably ought to listen to her. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.